everyone and welcome back to my channel if you are new here then please make sure you press the subscribe button and don't forget to give me a thumbs up even though you haven't watched the video yet still give me a thumbs up because you know it's going to be a good one right and yeah. um, so today i have with me Katie Nella Grace Nella Grace i'll leave her links down below and everything and she's a medical student from i'm well I'm from the uk but i do study in lithuania yeah and so I have a, a bunch of questions. I know a lot of you guys are medical students and follow me for kind of my advice on writing essays and things like that. So I thought I'd do a quick Q&A with her. First question, which country are you studying in and what year are you in? Okay, yeah, so like I've just said, I am studying in Lithuania. So I'm from the UK, I've studied here before and then I'm currently in Lithuania and I'm in my fourth year oh. out of six years. So mm -hmm. the medical course there is six years. Six years, okay, so Which kind of the same as here basically. No, it's five. With it intercalated. Five oh, yeah, it's intercalated. Yeah. Though, it's okay. five, six, yeah. Not too bad then. Um, why did you apply abroad? There are so many medical schools in the UK. Yeah. Why did you apply? I actually did apply abroad. I mean, I applied in the UK yeah. twice. <laughs> The struggle, the struggle. <laughs> so I applied twice. So the first they're time, lost, they're lost. yeah, <laughs> right. I'm like, yeah. so the first time it was straight after A levels, and my A levels. I have a, a whole story on my channel, but my A levels weren't that great um, because I went through some things in the A levels, so I didn't get in the first time, and also because I my UK cat I flunked, and then the second time I applied, I would have had to wait another year because it was after my undergrad, okay, um, and I didn't want to wait a year because that would take like seven years and eight okay. years in total. So yeah. I then I just applied abroad because it was easier to get in and cheaper at the time okay yeah. so speaking of money how much are the fees so the fees okay so it depends on what country you go to that it changes I know like in Bulgaria and Romania I think it's a bit cheaper but I study in Lithuania and as of right now the fees are actually 11,500 pounds euros okay. which is still which is about it's 10 11 it's 10 11 thousand pounds exactly um, so that's from right now, if you're studying medicine and if you're studying dentistry, it's 12,500, I think. Mm. So it's a bit more expensive for dentistry, actually, because their years is, is less. But I pay 8,600 okay. because it's gone up every year okay. since I started. So every year they've gone up by like a thousand. Okay. Whatever you start with, you finish, you finish with that. With, okay. But I pay less than the first years now because oh, they yeah. pay okay. 11,500, mm. but I pay 8,500. I'm really surprised because I thought that studying abroad is a, was is a lot cheaper it used to be okay. and i think in other countries it is okay. i've heard in romania it's like four thousand i don't know you can people can comment yeah. in the comment section to see if it if, I, if it's the mm. truth or not mm. but did you have to learn a language because you are in a new country and did you have to learn a language yeah so the course itself is in english but you do have to learn the language because your patient contact is obviously in Lithuanian. Yeah. Mm. So we have to to speak to our patients, like in the hospitals and things. You have to learn the basic, yeah. like um, medical, I guess, terms, like what oh you would God. speak to a patient. Yeah. yeah. But we learn it in the university. Okay. So we have mandatory classes okay. from first, second, and third year of uni. Mm. You have to have three hours contact hours a week of Lithuanian. Okay. So it's intense, and they really do like. Make sure that you make know. Sure that you know. Yeah. yeah, so oh, it's, it's good, good in that way. Yeah, it's good, yeah. really good. It's you, get to, you get to new, new, learn a new language. Exactly, well, exactly. Cool. I mean, I'm not great. <laughs> but. So, what is the application process? So, the application process is so much easier than the UK, which is almost why I applied oh, abroad. Really? Yeah. So, you basically just they have their own website. So, it's every university. There's only two medical universities in Lithuania. Really? Yeah, there's only two. There's one mm -hmm. in Col in Konas where I am, and there's yeah. one in the in the capital in okay. Vilnius. Okay. Um, so you just go on the website and you put on your application. Okay. But when I applied, I actually used an agent because okay. those are people that know what they're doing. And they they kind of help you through it. It's not necessary. Who did who's like how did you find your agent? It was my friend's dad who was doing it at the time. Okay. So I have since then I've become an agent okay. for students. So I help students. Links will be down below. <laughs> <laughs> so I help students to get into my university specifically because okay. I know what they're looking for, how to do it, okay. all that stuff. So that's how I apply. You just go on the website and then you just apply okay. and they you wait and then you have to have if you have a degree then you don't have to do the entrance exam they literally just give you a yes or a no based on your on your application yeah. and then if you don't have a degree then you have to do an entrance exam oh. to see okay. if you get in or not and then not. <laughs> one question that i'm sure that a lot of people are thinking of yeah. is are you accredited in the uk when you come back to the uk because obviously yeah. you're from the uk yeah. can you just go into hospital and start your F1 training. Do yes, you, you need can. to do an exam or like yeah. convert your qualifications? Yeah, yeah it's accredited and mm -hmm. you don't need to do anything, um, mm -hmm. which is one of the reasons why I chose that university. Mm -hmm. Because if you're British and you're from England, then to come back, 
you don't have to do any exam okay. um but i'll put by the time i graduate i think it's from 2021 onwards okay. everyone who practices medicine in the uk regardless of where you've studied has to take a national entrance exam it's a new thing that came from the gmc so um, you mean after they graduate? After you graduate, you have to take like a, a, a you know, like the USMLE yeah. in America. Yeah. The UK is actually rolling out from 2021 oh a new like um, like nationwide to. exam, whether or not you study in the UK. Even the UK mm -hmm. students have to take it. So people have to take it. But from when I graduate mm -hmm. from now, you don't have to. It's accredited. The only thing you have to do is the English exam. Okay. Um, I forgot what it's in called In the now. UK. And, and class? Is it, was that what it's called? I don't know. Yeah. No, don't S take uh, it. Uh, CELTA. I th yeah, yeah I IELTS, no, IELTS, IELTS, okay. IELTS, IELTS something okay. like that, yeah. That's the IELTS, one you have to yeah. take, the English exam, because okay. our patient contact technically is not in English. Right. Can you give me one positive about studying abroad yeah. and one negative? Ooh, okay. So the positive is that I feel like our learning style is a lot more intense. Mm -hmm. And I know that sounds like, why is that a positive? Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like I learn, I learn more in the sense that they're very strict mm. very brutal it's like you have to learn mm -hmm. like you know mm -hmm. so i feel like i'm learning more and it's a lot more intense and you know it it, it makes me become a better doctor i think yeah. um yeah. and the negative is the barrier the language barriers uh, yeah. because obviously as much as i can learn the language mm. i when i speak to patients it could be better mm. so you something you have, that you have to think about and you're yeah. just in a different country so that do you think it will have an impact when you come back here because you haven't treated patients in English yeah I think even though obviously you're fluent in English yeah. but don't you think it would have an impact on the way that you approach in English definitely I think the first yeah. few months probably but that's a good thing because in my six in my sixth year yeah there's a 20 week placement oh, wow, okay. before you graduate which I'm going to do in England so okay. I'll get that practice is your F1 and F2 in England as well yeah okay yeah. so okay so yeah. you'll get the chance so I'll get the chance yeah Cool. But, um, yeah, I hope that you, that answered anyone, anyone's questions with trying to get into university abroad for medicine. I'm guessing that the same, similar rules kind of apply for other universities in Europe as well. Yeah. Um, in terms of applications, there's no UCAS. Every university has like an individual application. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it was great having you on my channel. Of and course. I'd love to collaborate with you more. Of course. Um, go check out on my channel. We're doing a video. Yeah, right? yeah, we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. So I'll leave all of her links down below, and yeah. all her social media will be here. And um, I will see you in my next video. Bye. I really enjoyed this. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>